Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing Berta Style, November 2019. And it looks like we are gearing up towards winter, of course, being November. So it says cozy times and we have a nice coat. Okay, let's go to, this is my one of my favorite pages and what I like about Berta style is that at the very beginning it shows you all of the styles and patterns that are included in this magazine along with the page number so you can just see what you like and go straight there if you wish. Okay. The first few sections are dedicated to ideas on making advent calendars and this one um, you're making little banners and each banner is a or triangle is a day and there's a gift inside and this one they're little bags and they're labeled with the day like 11 12 and so on and this one basically looks like one of those shoe organizers you hang on the back of your door and there's gifts inside and each um, pocket is numbered with the day in December. And it shows you how to sew it. And this is the first garment offered and it's the coat that we saw on the front page. Um, I don't know if it's the fabric or I think it's probably the collar that I don't particularly like. So if you take a look at the line art, it looks like a cross between a notched collar and a shawl collar. And I, for me, I'm just not really digging it. And I also think this fabric, now if you take a look, how there's like these little bits, because it's kind of like a, a tweed or a textured, it just, I don't know. It just looks like it's kind of raw or unfinished. I don't know if you can understand what I'm saying. But, or see it, but it, to me, I don't know, I'm just, something is off to me here. Um, but anyway, looks like it's inspired by an older pattern, it does mention retro, and it looks like this to be, it looks better here, looks cuter there for some reason. So, so it is an older design, I guess. Okay. Next, we have this long cardigan. To me, this is like more like the coat again that we've been seeing. So it's a bit of a boxy shape. You can see the line right there. And then we have another, well, we have a jacket, and this one has uh, one button. Let me zoom in on that line right there. So there's a button, it folds over, and then there's a tie. Turn the light on, there's some glare, so kind of hard to see there. Next, we have this blouse, and it's got um, two bust darts there coming from the side seam, and then a little keyhole type opening. Was that what they call that? I can't remember that. When there's like that little opening in the front. And cute, simple. See the line right there? And the sleeves are gathered and it looks like there's elastic in there. And then we've got this other, we've got another jacket here. And this has a sort of, I think it's kind of like a funnel neckline. I think that's what they call that. Um, you can see the line right there. And you can't really get a good feel of what it looks like straight on due to the angle of this, of her picture and how she's wearing it, but because her neck, her neckline is folded down, so you don't really get how it looks from the line art. So maybe in the further along in the magazine, we'll get to that. Another view. Here we have a dress and this dress, is it a, it is a woven, okay. At first I thought it could be a knit because it looks very clingy. 
there's the line art. It's got like these sort of princessy seams and then these two here at the torso area and the waist. And then you've got the surplus shirt and that's on the other side. But here's the line art. That's a very nice classic shape with the elastic at the sleeves. Quite like the fabric, but the way she's sitting, we don't get a great view of essentially the pattern because she's kind of crouched over it. And the fabric she's wearing on that side is a viscous crepe. So it's not a knit like I thought it might be. I don't know why I'm just like, everything's a knit, everything's a knit. Nope. Okay, here we have a wrap blouse and got a night there's a seam at the waist and then it ties and it looks like there's probably two tucks if you look at the line art there that's common with wrap or surplus tops and she's wearing a viscous crepe there as well and then we've got a midi skirt i kind of like this midi skirt um it's got a wrap well, a tie, I should say. You can see that. And she's wearing a viscous crepe as well. This one is a pullover sweater, and it looks like there is um, some fabric. So you've got like a sweater fabric and then sort of a woven that's made to look like your it's another top underneath, so it gives the illusion that you're wearing two, I think. Oh, it's layered. No. Yeah, it is. At first I thought, oh, is it two patterns? But it's not. It's meant, it's meant to be that way. It's a layered look. And it's cotton viscous crepe. Let's take a look at it here. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, I like the layered look, but there's something, I think that maybe there's like, to me, there's just a bit much fabric. I think it should just be like half that. That's just my personal preference. Love that color though. Okie dokie, let's see. So this is just, Berta magazines do give really good instructions on not all the patterns, but they kind of take um, certain techniques from some of the patterns and they'll kind of spotlight on them. And here, I think this is constructing the pullover sweater. So some great instructions here with really nice illustrations. And so apparently crop jackets are trending. So we've got some pictures from ready to wear here. And here is a pattern that's included in this magazine. It's quite um, boxy. Give you a good idea with the line art there, what we're looking at. And it's made out of a wool. Not sure how I feel about this. I just, I don't like things to be too boxy. I feel swallowed up by them. Um, that makes sense. We've got black and this is oh this is a she's wearing a blazer it looks like a faux leather blazer maybe or maybe it's oh it's, this is actual real leather lamb napa leather and it's actually really um kind of chic so if we take a look at the line art here and just look at the lines you've got some nice fitting princess seams this could actually be very chic i'm not going to try to sell real leather at this point um, but I would try to make it out of a pleather. Here we have a quilted jacket and this one is made out of a velvet. Ooh. Again, it is a bit boxy. So this wouldn't be something that I would go for, but I can appreciate it for what it is. Here's that midi skirt we saw again with the tie and this time it's made out of, oh, again, a viscous crepe, but in black. And here we have just your sort of traditional button-up blouse. This is a made in cotton. 
And on this side, it's kind of probably hard to see because of the glare and this is like all black, but let's just zoom in on the line art, line art here. And you can see that in the back, there's like this tie. There's some um, detail there, which is kind of neat. And, and it just adds some interest to what would be ordinarily kind of a boring long sleeve top. And they made this one out of a jersey. Here is that sort of um, fitted dress we saw earlier. And this time they made it out of a jacquard. It's really pretty, it's really chic. And they've got some trousers here and the, their drawstring. Track trousers, they are calling them. It's like what? When workplace meets athlete, athleticism. Isn't that yoga pants? So yeah, drawstring, we've got some pockets. Here she is wearing them. You can see, you can't really see the details on it. It's not showing up because of all the black, but um, I see what they're trying to do here. <laughs> then on this side, we also have a couple of, well, we have a blouse and this one, take a look at it. It's like got a built-in curtain. I don't even know. It's, I don't, it's, giving extra cover, coverage at the bus line. So yeah, you have a curtain for your bus line and this is made out of viscose crepe, no surprise there. This skirt is made out of viscose with stretch. It is a simple um, kind of, what is it, what am I saying, pencil skirt. But you can see here in the line art that they have added some lace and down here, I think that's kind of neat. Sorry for the shaking, my cat was up on my table. Okay, and just a little section on skin products because they do add some beauty in here. And this is where all of the patterns are kept in this newsprint and tells you how to trace them and gives you some tips. And this is the craziness that are Berta patterns. That is Berta patterns. Okay, halfway through. So plaid, plaid chic. I feel, you know, every year plaid is back in style. So every fall we get back into the plaid, but that's okay because I like plaid. So let's see what they have in store for us. Here we have a hoodie and I like hoodies. I love to lounge in them. I think they're super cozy. And this one has, let's see. double face jersey and it looks like it, the hem curves up and it probably um you see it curves up and it goes back down on the back okay and then we've got that sort of funnel neck looking jacket but it's probably not funnel neck now that i look at it here the line art makes it look like the neckline goes higher, almost like a mock turtleneck, but that's actually not how it looks in once it's made up. I quite like this um, navy with the sort of lime green or yellow. It's a wool that they made it out of. Look the combination. It's like somebody just took a highlighter. Like, shh, shh, shh. okay, we've got that button-up blouse, pretty traditional kind of thing. And I've got a pencil skirt, a shorter pencil skirt with, ooh, it looks like they put some rings on it. Those pants are trouser track pants. We've got the quilted coat. That looks like Burberry. Well, at least the Burberry plaid um, with the tan, the red, and the black. Coat. The quilted coat. So it looks like we've got, is that a spotlight on the quilted coat? Yes. So it's going to go in depth on how to make this quilted coat. And you know, even if you don't make this particular pattern, just going through and reading them, it could help you on other projects because there's techniques that are outlined here that could be useful. So I'll go back and read them later. 
Um, and here they're just kind of going through the trends. So they have some style ideas for plaids. And then we have our leather. Now we're getting into some gowns. This one's very pretty color. This is a, uh, looks like it's a duchess satin. Is it? Let's take a look here. And the line art, and this is like, has some lace beading the top. It's nice, so it looks like, some more beauty product information okay this is interesting it's called the blues on coat so I don't know what this first I thought it was like one of those snuggies but <laughs> this is not a snuggie this is a coat that covers you here is the line art I'd pass on that and the skirt. Let's see, let's look at the skirt. So they've done some color blocking with the skirt. Don't really like it on the skirt. I don't know why I'm not feeling it. Uh, okay, we've got an anorak. And we've got a dress with some color blocking again. So let's take a look at the lines. See how they've done that. And then there's your anorak. There she is with a visor. How neat. And a hood. <laughs> Double up. Okay, here's a tunic, a v-neck tunic, and it has a what? A pleat in the back, inverted pleat. sweatshirt with a collar but not a hood so it kind of you can see how the hood not hood but the collar goes on um, the sweatshirt pattern and then we've got that tunic again with the vent or I'm sorry the pleat in the back okay we have a section on scissors and talking about tailoring scissors and it looks like this is all from prim uh, my favorite scissors are Kai, so I'm pretty much sold on my scissors, so I'm going to skip that. Okay, so now there's a section on construct a concealed button fastening. Okay, that could be useful for shirt making. And then we've got some kids clothes here. This is super cute. Oh, how cute is that? A little bomber jacket and little pants. And then this little dress. This is adorable. Oh, I love this. I love this little bomber jacket with the foxes on it. That's adorable. And the dress again, just in a different print. And what is this? Some previews for December. Talking the dream combo, honey yellow and dark blue complement one another. Yes, they do. They are complementary colors. Okay. Luxurious fabrics, retro. Okay, so um, I wasn't happy with my October issue. I thought it kind of failed, it fell flat. I have to say this issue, there really isn't anything except maybe that leather jacket pattern that I liked, but honestly, I'm just, I don't know, kind of disappointed again with this issue. I said it last month, I let's hope that next month, December's issue is going to be better and that there's going to be some really good patterns. But let me know what you think and if there's anything in here that you liked or that you would actually make or if you're like me and you're not really that impressed. But thanks so much for watching. See you next time.